Hey my dudes, it's Cody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing all kinds of well. January has finally come to its end, so that means it's time for another Wheel of TBR video. Before I go ahead and spin the wheel, as always, I will let you know how I did last month. January's TBR was a pretty ambitious one for me to say the least, so to no one's surprise, I didn't quite manage it. <laughs> there were actually three books from that stack that I didn't complete. I am currently reading though The Secret Commonwealth and Dracula and really enjoying them, so I'll be reading these still in February. <laughs> However, I didn't start Rose Matter by Stephen King, so with the new rules, I'm going to also save this one for February. So we have this one and these two, which I'll definitely be hopefully finishing out in February. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this one with the lovely Bobby, Steph and Gav, three of my favorites. I'll link their channels in the description. Please check them out if you haven't already. However, you may remember that I also saved last month from the previous month, Girls Burn Brighter by Shoba Rao. I didn't try this one either. I was just not in the mood for this book because I'd been warned that it was a really hard read and I just didn't want to pick up anything like that in January. So unfortunately, I will be unhauling this one. In last month's Wheel of TBR, when I talked about the new rules that I have in place for myself, I also mentioned that I have started up a buddy read kind of system or book club, I guess, over on a Discord channel. I'll of course link that in the description if you'd like to join in, where we can all buddy read a book together from my Wheel of TBR picks, usually something that's a standalone or the first in a series, not like a continuation or anything. So at the end of this video I'll of course post a new poll in the Discord where y'all can pick what we all buddy read together. Last month the one that won was The Binding by Bridget Collins. Thank you to everybody who has already joined the Discord and was buddy reading this with me or whether you weren't. <laughs> Still a huge thank you to everybody who joined and for those of you who did choose to read this one in January, thank you for sharing your thoughts across on there. It was a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see what this month's pick will be. But before we find out what my TBR will be this month, I'd like to quickly mention the readathon I'm participating in this month. There are a lot of good ones happening this month, such as Blackathon and also Contemporaryathon, the next round of that one too. So I'll link those in the description as well. I may join in on those. We'll see what the wheel dishes up for me. But the one I'm going to definitely try and attempt is Polathon, which is hosted by the lovely Jade at JD Ray Reads. I'll of course link the announcement in the description for that. And Polathon is all about reading polar fantasy. I think I have a few books that could work for it. Also there is a map that Jade created which is really cool. You just go through the map completing the prompts up until you get to Polar Fantasy. There are five prompts you can double up though and that actually starts on the 3rd of February and ends on the 9th of February. So it's a one week readathon and I'm really excited for it. This is the first time I'm participating in this one and all the info for that will be down in the description. So hopefully the wheel will allow me to pick some wintry Polar Fantasy reads too. <laughs> so I think that's everything. Oh no wait I need to switch out the last prompt that came up last month which was colour and I shall be replacing that one with oh ugly cover now with all that being said and done let's spin that wheel <laughs> we have adults so any adult book there are so many I could pick from a lot of them are really big though so I'm not going to do that I'm not going to pick a huge one for the first spin I'm gonna try and play it a little bit more clever <laughs> because February is a short month and there's some readathons I want to do so the one that I'm thinking of is nice and short and a newer addition to my shelves thank you so much to Kristen and this is This Is How You Lose The Time War by Max Gladstone. I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of this book already, it is quite hyped at the moment I think, and it's essentially about two rival agents named Red and Blue who fall in love but they're on the opposite sides of this huge war. Some of you may be surprised that I'm picking a romance book but this one is LGBT I believe, it's also a science fiction fantasy mashup I think. I've heard really good things about it, it has my interest peaked and it's nice and short so I figured that'd be a good choice to start off with. Um, do let me know your thoughts if you've read it. I'm very excited to get to it. And switching out the adult prompt, we will switch that one for non-fiction. And we have A to Z, which means I'm going to use a random letter generator, and whichever letter we get has to be the first letter of an author's surname. Okay, so I have the random letter generator up here on my phone. It's already at B, but I'm going to generate a new one. Oh, T. 
That should be an easy one. Surely I have some books with an author whose surname begins with a T. So, last name's beginning with a T. Thompson. I don't think I have anything by... Thomas. Oh, Angie Tom... Angie Thomas. I'm finally gonna read On The Come Up. I actually read the first chapter of this a while ago and I never continued because I think my TBR was huge and this wasn't on the TBR at the time, so very happy that I can finally pick up On The Come Up. If you didn't somehow already know, Angie Thomas is the author of The Hate You Give, which I really, really enjoyed. And this one, we follow Brie, who's 16 years old and wants to be a rapper. She wants to pursue music and I really enjoyed what I read when I did read it, so very happy that On The Come Up is going to be my second pick. Looking at my shelves, I didn't actually have that many options for tea. I did have another Thomas though. I could have picked Kill Creek, but I feel like I really want to read On The Come Up though, because I already started it and was enjoying it. Just put it down because it wasn't on the TBR as I mentioned. So let's switch out A to Z and we will switch that one for, let's go for this one, Pet Pick. Well, at least it came up early and I'm thankful that I picked some shorter reads to begin with. Okay, my options. These are just a few of my options. I actually have a few of us on these shelves, but I didn't want to have to pick them up. So, I think these ones are the ones I'm most eager to get to. A couple of these are series continuations, but most of them are the beginning of a new series. Oh, I don't know what to pick. <laughs> this wheel was supposed to help me choose my TBR. <laughs> Instead, it just causes more confusion. Um, I read fantasy all the time. Let's go for some sci-fi. I'm finally gonna read Leviathan Wakes. I feel like I've shown it in so many TBR videos. It's about time I actually picked it. <laughs> so Leviathan Wakes it is. This is the first book in the Expanse series, which is a very long series, a space opera. There is a TV show, The Expanse which Massey loves, I haven't watched. Uh, this book was also gifted to me by Bobby. It's one of Bobby's favorite series and she's been at me to read this for a long time. So it's finally happening. And if I love this one, I'll be forcing Massey to read it too because he's been complaining that I don't have enough sci-fi recommendations for him for him to pick up. So Leviathan Wakes is the big book for this wheel. So let's switch out big book. We'll switch it for Book box pick. I have some books I've received in subscription boxes right down here, so if this one comes up, I'll be choosing one of those. Oh, and I think I forgot to say as well, um, if you didn't watch last month's TBR, if the same colour comes up three times, I have to add in an extra spin. I forgot to mention that as well. So, we're free spins in. <laughs> I'm very happy about this one because I recently received some books by the oh so generous Tracy Thank you so much again Tracy for sending these books my way These are the ones I most recently added to the TBR shelves And those are Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens Educated by Tara Westover and the one I'm gonna pick, which is Never Tell by Catherine Orton. The reason I'm picking this one is of course because I'm doing the Polathon readathon and this one totally counts. This one will work for a lot of the prompts and I had to get it on this TBR if I could. Also because it's the middle grade monthly pick as well for February, which is hosted by Jade again, Gav and Pris too. And I love them a lot and yeah, I want to join in and that too. So. Never tell. This one is a middle grade. It sent us around 11 year old Lena, who has never seen the world beyond the prison camp until the night she escapes with her best friend, Bogdan. As the pair journey across a snowy Russian wilderness, they are pursued by a vengeful sorceress and her pack of shadow wolves. The children will need every ounce of bravery and a little sorcery of their own if they are to survive. And this cover, <laughs> not that that matters too much, but it's really pretty, so I just wanted to give it its own moment. So I'm happy to be adding Never Tell as the fourth book on the TBR. Pretty happy with my pick so far. So let's switch out that prompt as well. Giving these a shuffle, we will go for short read. Oh, yes please. <laughs> Ok 
anyways we have booktuber favorite of 2019 there's a few of my favorite booktubers who i haven't watched their end of year best of 2019 videos yet the first one that comes to mind is emily at books with emily fox She's an all-time favourite of mine and we have quite similar taste in books, I think. Although she reads a bit more genres and things than I do, so this could be quite interesting. I think I'm just going to watch all of it and then the ones that I haven't read, make a little list and pick one from those. Okay, so I had to scroll back quite far to find it because, um, yeah, she's she's really good. She's prepared. She put this out early and, like, some people who still yet to post that video, but... That's beside the point. Let's see what her best books of 2019 were. If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about the best books that I've read in 2019. So, Skyward by Brendan Sanderson. Is it a favorites video if I'm not including some Brendan Sanderson? Same. <laughs> but I've read it. Loved it. Let's keep going with some sci-fi. Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. Read it. Loved it. <laughs> Speaking of books that I find that a lot of people would enjoy, Recursion by Blake Grouch. Read it. Loved it. I have two first contact with aliens to mention and they're just so freaking good. It's so underrated. Uh, let's start with Spin. I, I think the reason people don't pick this up is because of the cover because it just... Haven't read that one. So, Spin by Robert Charles Wilson. The Sparrow. Oh, this was so freaking good. Ooh, so Sparrow. So another first contact with aliens kind of book. So it looks like I could be adding more sci-fi this month. I have been dreading reading this for years because first off, it's huge. Second of all, oh, a little life destroyed me. Loved it. Still never finished out the last chapter because I couldn't take it. But I count it as read. So, <laughs> moving on. Uh, the best fantasy series of the year was given to the Red Sister Book of the Ancestor trilogy. Completely agree. My favorite. Well, one of my favorite fantasy series too. So, moving on. Looks like I could be reading First Contact with Aliens. Okay, I'm down. It's just one of the best uh, fantasy series I've read in a really long time. I adore it. The Nevernight series by J. Kristoff. Wow, I... Read it. Loved it. Moving on. Next fantasy book, Dragon Republic. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the Puppy War last... Read it and loved that one too. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I had read... Loved it. See, I don't think I can go wrong with Emily because all of these books, I well, the ones that I've read, I really enjoyed, so... So, very quickly, I wanted to read about Becoming by Michelle Obama. I haven't read Becoming by Michelle Obama, I know. What am I playing at? Why haven't I read it yet? So that's going on the list as well. Also wanted to give a shout out to Educated by Tara Stover, which was... I own it. It's, it's, it's on the shelves. Ooh, that might be the easiest one to read because I already have a copy, whereas the other ones I don't, so let's see if there's anything else on here. I don't think so, I think Educated was the last one. That was it, okay. So I think I'm gonna go with Educated. <laughs> I do still wanna read Becoming by Michelle Obama. I might see if my library has the audiobook for it. Maybe that'll be my audiobook listen to this month. Um, but simply because I already owned it, it has to be educated by Tara Westover. I feel like I'd really enjoy the sci-fis that she mentioned as well. Maybe one day, but yes, as I mentioned, it's going to be this one. So this is a non-fiction about Tara Westover who grew up not having access to any education. She came from a very rough start and she's just talking about her own experiences and how and when she was able to gain access to education, what that means to her, etc. That's all I really know about it. I've heard very mixed things about this book, but Emily loved it, so hopefully I will too. Let me know your thoughts if you've read it, and thank you again to Tracy for this copy of this book. Too generous as always, my dude, but very much appreciated. So we can now switch out the booktuber fave prompt. I will pick series. that we have short read however this color has come up twice now so if it lands on it again I have to add in an extra spin at the end but since this TBR just seems to consist mostly of books that the lovely Tracy gifted me I'm gonna pick another one that she sent my way but she sent me Binti by Nnedi Okorafor and I've heard amazing things about this book it's another sci-fi so uh third sci-fi for this month 
that's cool, wanted to read more sci-fi as well. So this is said to be a coming of age story set in space. Uh, we have our main character, Binti, and she is the first of her people to be offered a place at Uzma University, the finest institution of higher learning in the galaxy. Knowledge comes at a cost, one that Binti is willing to pay, but her journey will not be easy. The world she seeks to enter has long warred with the Medus, an alien race that has become the stuff of nightmares. If Binti hopes to survive the legacy of a war not of her making, she will need both the gifts of her people people and the wisdom enshrined within the university itself, but first she has to make it there alive. It just sounds great. I've heard so many people say good things about this one and it's nice and short. Yay. Okay, so Binti's going on the TBR too. I am really liking the look of my TBR so far this month, but we have two more spins to go so things could change. Um, let's pick this prompt. Five star prediction. <laughs> Okay, and we have a retelling, which works out very well because I have a book that's a retelling that could work for Polathon. It is quite a big one, but I think it'll work for a lot of the prompts. So it is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. Rachel actually gifted me this one for my birthday last July. So I'm so sorry, Rachel, it's taken me so long to put it into a reel of TBR. I'll of course link her channel in the description if you haven't already checked her out. But this is one I've definitely been wanting to try. I did enjoy Uprooted, I didn't absolutely love it. However, I've heard that this one is great. It's a Rumpel Stiltskin retelling. I've also heard it's quite a slow burn, but some of my friends that I've read it have really enjoyed it, so here's hoping I will too. Let me know your thoughts if you've read Spinning Silver. So let's switch up the prompt for hopefully the last time and the last spin, like fingers crossed. Okay, let's go for Scribd Recommendation. <laughs> I'm happy it's a five star prediction. Not so happy that that's Lilac come up three, three times. I'm just checking, but yeah, it's three times. Well, crap, I guess there's gonna be nine spins this month. Oh well. Okay, so what am I picking for five star prediction? I actually have, you know, I already have my TBR teapot. Well, I've also got another teapot that I filled with five star prediction books. Here she is. So all my five star predictions I've wrote down on slips of paper in here. If you'd like to see a full list of my five star predictions, I have a whole video, I will link it in the description. But let's pick one of these. So hopefully it won't be huge. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. I I'm happy about this one. It's not a massive one. I have like Eye of the World and Ship of Magic in here, so <laughs> we're good. And it's Cryer's War. So Cryer's War by Nina Varela. I'll try not to blind you with this very shiny cover. I actually received this in an owl crate box. I think it's another sci-fi fantasy mashup, but I'm not 100% sure. I do know this one features a female-female romance between two characters. One of them is a human servant in the Sovereign's house to like a different race, I think. However, she wants to avenge the deaths of her family by killing their daughter, so the Sovereign's daughter. Um, so I think it's a relationship between those two. That's all I really know. I just have a really good feeling about this one. Let me know your thoughts if you've read it. I've heard great things. So that's where I'd usually end this video. But oh no, oh no, no. We have another spin to go. So I will switch out the prompt, hopefully for the last time. And we will go for this one. So adaptation. <laughs> So, series. Usually I would go ahead and pick uh, a continuation for a fantasy series that I love, but considering the TBR with the books I'm still reading from last month is quite large and February is the uh, shortest month of the year, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to pick something that I think would be quite quick. I'm in the mood for a mystery. So I'm going to pick Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I am just really in the mood for this. I really want to read it. I'm excited about this one. I know a lot of people love this series. This was very kindly gifted to me by Ben, so thank you so much, Ben. Very excited to be finally get into this one because it's been on my radar for a long time. So this is a YA mystery thriller. It's set in a famous private school and we follow a character who's trying to unravel the mystery about an unsolved case of kidnapping and murder where the killer just left the clue with a pseudonym, Truly Devious. 
she's a true crime aficionado so many years later she wants to see if she can solve this riddle and all of these clues. I've heard it's best to have the second one on hand if you read this because it ends on a cliffhanger. Thankfully I do. <laughs> Thank you again Ben. <laughs> Knowing me I'll probably pick this up straight afterwards so was this a good decision? Maybe not but I really want to read it. <laughs> Plus I think it'll be a quick read. I'm really excited for it. So that's the last book on the TBR. <laughs> So these are the nine I've picked for this month. Um, it doesn't look too crazy, very happy I picked two shorter ones up here. So I have these to read as well as the one I've saved, which is Rose Madder by Stephen King. And then I still have to finish these two out as well. I'm not even halfway through either of these. But I will be trying my best to get through all of these in terms of February's buddy read over on my Discord. None of these are a series continuation. So you can vote on any of these as soon as this video is up. I will put the poll, of course, in the Discord if you'd like to vote on what we all read together in February. That would be awesome. Almost drop these, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who's already joined our Discord buddy reading group. If you'd like to join, of course, the link will be in the description as I mentioned. Even if you don't want to read any of those in particular, if you'd like to just join in for the chat, please feel free. That'd be amazing. So that was this month's Wheel of TBR, my dudes. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know your thoughts on these books if you've read any of them or if you're excited to read them too. Please do place your bets as to whether I'll be able to tackle all of these in February. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one, my dudes. Bye, y'all.